Hey everybody, I decided to pull a card out of my The Angel Guide Oracle deck by Kyle Gray. And I got Romance and Connection. Can you see that? Card's a little glossy, sorry. All right, so let me tell you a little bit about it. Angels of romance are swirling around your life at this time, ushering in positive, uplifting, and heartfelt experiences to remind you that love is real. Allowing yourself to be romance, to receive and to experience a true connection is important at this time. It is likely that your heart space is opening up and any barriers or shields that have been in place are falling away. If you find yourself scared or uptight about romance, know that this is not only a sign that you would like to experience it, but also that it is something that your energy system really needs. Your angels are guiding you to begin seeing yourself as loving and deserving of love. Know that you have much goodness and light to offer others and the world. You are also being encouraged to know that the world wants to see you, to know you, and to understand your heart. All of this is only possible with your permission. Why not give it now? The extended message is the energy of romance is increasing in your life at this time. If you are already in a relationship, this could mean that you have an opportunity to connect more deeply and share intimacy and love. If your relationship hasn't been the main focus or priority of your heart for a while, your angels are encouraging you to make time for it. If you have a new relationship unfolding or there's the potential for a new relationship to unfold, angels will help you move forward with it now. Call on divine love from the universe. Invite it to open up your heart and then be willing to receive interest and love from others. Whatever the reason for this card appearing, this is time to enjoy and be enjoyed in a loving way. And so when I was looking at that, it's just, you know, about connection. I was just talking about connection earlier and how do you feel connected and it doesn't always have to be with somebody else romantically it can be with yourself it can be with your angel it can just be with <clears throat> anything that you want it to be i always look at it as like you know love for yourself and connecting to your soul so you could look at it as like you know your soul guidance right here or your angel guiding you and connecting you to your heart space so it's important to connect to your heart space and it's important to break down those walls and those barriers that we've created there over the years due to our experiences. And with those experiences, we tend to have things happen and we get hurt and we get scared. And so when we do that, we put up these energetic walls, these energetic barriers to our heart. And there comes a time where we have to start to let down those walls, let down those barriers. So if I were to take this into a, like a meditation type to kind of help release some of those walls and barriers that we've created, I would first ask you to close your eyes and just take a moment to place that energy into your heart. Just think about your heart space. Take a deep breath in and out. <sighs> Take a deep breath in and out. <sighs> Take a deep breath in and out. <sighs> okay, now focus on your heart space. And I want you to imagine what it looks like around your heart. What does it feel like? What kind of walls did you build? Did you build them of wood? Did you build them of metal? Did you build a fence? Did you build a safe? Did you build, like, what did you build around it? Did you just make um, some trees around you, trees around it? I mean, it could be whatever it is that you made. And then you can even think about the color. What kind of color? Is it green? Is it red? Is it blue? What kind of color is it? And how does it feel? Does it make you feel safe? Does it make you feel cold and kind of stiff? Now with that visualization, whatever it is, whatever material it is, whatever texture, whether it was hard, soft, 
even if you don't know if it was a metal or a wood or water or whatever it is, you can just, you know, go with texture. Was it soft? Was it hard? Was it bumpy? Whatever it is. And then you want to imagine it falling away and you can have it fall away any which way you want. So if it was metal, you could cut it away and you can ask your angels for help. Can you please help me remove these walls, remove these barriers from my heart? And so you're just letting it fall away and there may be layers. So you might want to think about how deep is this? How thick is it? You know, is it a mile thick? Is it only 12 inches thick? Like how thick of a barrier did you create? doesn't mean we have to get rid of it all right now. We're going to do our best to do part of that, but just letting some of it down, starting to let it open up so you can be open to receive the love that you deserve. So imagine it opening up or cutting it away, or you can ask Archangel Michael, please help me cut this open so I can drop some of this barrier, this wall that I have preventing me from accepting and receiving all the love that I deserve. I just want you to close your eyes and visualize it however it is. So depending on what it is, just let the natural thoughts that come in your head of how to remove it happen. So is there a waterfall pouring over it, clearing it away? Is that not good enough? Do you need to have some sort of angel of light sword from Archangel Michael to cut it through it and let it fall away? And when it falls away, you can just watch it fall down to the earth and the earth will transmute it into something positive. So don't worry about whatever it is that you have falling off. And we'll just take a deep breath and let it out. <sighs> I'm just gonna be quiet for a moment so you can just let that happen, however it's happening for you. And if you can't visualize, just know that it's falling away and that you're willing to be open to receiving love like you deserve. It's all falling down into the earth. It's all being transformed into beautiful, loving energy. And now I want you to place your attention back on your heart and I want you to surround it with a beautiful golden light. The beautiful angelic golden light, just kind of like what's in the picture here, kind of like the sun. And just let it surround your heart space and wrap and swirl through it. It feels so warm and so comfortable and so loving and so peaceful. It brings you so much serenity. It's like being on your best vacation, whatever your vacation may be. Almost like a honey, you can have it like a honey pouring through you as well. And it's glittery and bright and full of love. It feels so good to let the walls down and to open up to love and gratitude. Take a deep breath in and let it all go. I just want to say thank you, angels. Thank you, angels, for helping me drop down my walls and drop down my barriers so that I can be open to giving and receiving love to its fullest potential for my highest and greatest good. I deserve all the love in the world. I deserve to be happy, healthy, wealthy, and joyful. I love and approve of myself. 
I love and accept myself. So I hope this helped you. I think it's a very beautiful card. And it feels so good to feel a little bit better each day. So I hope you all have a great day. Love you, bye.